I started printing an adapter for my extruder using ABS. After several months of use, the part failed. To avoid these issues, I tried using a different lighter material that still has its range for the adapter. Hi, welcome to Solo Engineering. I'm David. I purchased an extruder to print high temperature materials but found that the aluminum frame that came with it still require an adapter between them and the printhead. So I decided to design an adapter to eliminate the need for an extra piece. I printed the adapter using ABS and followed the Voron design material guide. However, after a few months of use, the adapter wins cracked. With several replacements, I still suffer from the low life cycle of the adapter. This issue had made me consider trying different materials for the adapter. The material must have temperature resistance to withstand higher temperatures than ambient during printing. I initially tried PA12CF and performed some inflections and creep performance tests. Unfortunately, it was not qualified. Then I received some Eagles engineering filament, including P150, designed for frame parts. I have a video test of the P150 material, and the results have piqued my interest. I am grateful to Eagles for providing a spool to make this project possible. I printed the first piece using the same method as the ABS one. However, when installing it, I broke the wing instantly. The material proves to be brittle at the same positions. After several failed attempts, I realized I needed to change the design and printing orientation. Once I made the orientation change, I reinforced the holes for the cooling ducts to prevent breaking. I printed the new adapter using the stand orientation. Although this generates more support, the wings stick well to the backside once the print is finished. Additionally, I added ribs under the dock support to reinforce the thin sections. These angled tool pads can make the thin sections stronger. At this point, you may be wondering about using ABS with the stand orientation. I have tried it before, but the thin sections tend to warp and lose accuracy. In comparison, the P150 is much easier to print. The assembly process requires pressing the extruder between the adapter wings. An appropriate printing orientation can reduce the risk of breaking them. This printing orientation involves designing complex toolpaths at each layer to reinforce the entire print. After 6 months, let's check the condition of the adapter. This is the first adapter that has yet to be replaced since its installation. The printhead is functioning well without any sag, but there are some scratches on the adapter from the extruder screws. However, the adapter itself is still in good condition without any distortion. This material is an excellent option for creating sturdy and lightweight parts. It can endure temperatures of up to 120 degrees Celsius. I have used this material for low-grade deflection applications, such as the coupling cover in the shredder project, as it provides lightness and strength. It is also an ideal choice for extruder frames in the future projects. If you enjoyed this tile material review, please like and share the video. My channel offers more projects, material studies, and DIY tips. So don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with my content. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.